welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard and today I brought my biggest gun in my collection called Zeus. I can't wait to get started, so let's go out there. Ooh. <laughs> Made a little bit of a jump there, 75 yards down. My word, that was a very hard hit. 46 yards down. Okay. 80 yards down. I'm not the only one taking pest birds down on this farm this morning. This falcon just caught himself a nice fat pigeon. Good on you brother, let's smash them together. Oh my word. Smack, headshot, 44 yards down. Perfect shot, 107 yards, down. Oh, perfect, 98 yards, down. Super dead. It's another one there. <laughs> That's two for one there. <laughs> 40 yards. So let's talk about gun tuning here for a while and especially with heavier grain slugs. If you want to shoot your slug at a decent speed where the slug do expand at the maximum capacity, I will advise to look into velocities anything between 900 and 950 feet per second. Now don't get me wrong, you can shoot these slugs faster, they're still very very accurate, but I have found with all kind of heavier weight slugs that I've shot and not just with the H&Ns, that if you try to push them too hard, you do tend to get over penetration. So you need to put the right velocity to the size of the animal that you're shooting. Perfect, down 65 yards, head shot. Now she goes 85 yards. Starling down, 40 yards. Ooh. Drop like a rock.
Now, because it is winter here in South Africa, the winds are up and I managed to squeeze out a quick six shot group at 100 yards view here. I've tested all the H&N slugs and I found that the 25 grain, 27 grain and the 30 grain gives me an average group size about an inch or less at 100 yards. This group was shot with the H&N 30 grain slugs at 950 feet per second and if I put my thumb next to it you can see it's well within an inch. This is the standard which I'm looking for when I'm shooting my slugs. Extremely hard hit, straight down, 44 yards. Oh, he didn't even open up his wings, 50 yards down. Oh, 44 yards. Gun setup for today is the M3 Impact with my 800mm barrel on it. On the top I've got Element Nexus, I've got a Donny FL Ronin in the front, inside I've got a Superior Heavy Slug Liner, I've got an Accutech Bipod, underneath a Sabre Tactical Arca Swiss Rail, at the back a Sabre Tactical Adjustable Buttstock and also Adjustable Cheek Riser. I've got a Side Shot Camera System that I'm using over here and then lastly this beautiful red laminate grip from rifle stocks. So it was time to give the gun over to the youth and let them have some fun with Zeus. Oh. Nice shot. That's good. There you go. Yeah. Smoke that one, 69 yards. I know what you guys might be thinking now. A slug setup like this is overkill, but hey, is there really something like overkill when you want to shoot best birds? Dead is dead. And by looking at these clips, you can see that these slugs do an excellent job of taking down these best birds. Let me show you this. What I've got here is a field bag from Sabre Tactical in which you can store your air cylinder. It's got nice big zips that you can open up and then inside you can put your air cylinder. On the side of the bag there's two nice big pouches where you can put anything in there like your filling station, your filling hoses, your filling connectors and Another awesome feature is there's a little slot here where you can leave your filling station on the bottle and just put your pipe on here on the side. When you're all done filling your gun, you can close up this compartment and you can carry it either by the handle or if you're on the go like me, just put it over your shoulder and you're ready to go.
And like you guys can see, I've got the standard shroud on here, just for one reason, because most of you have asked me, can you shoot a normal shroud with an 800 without the Hein Froman barrel system on it? Yes, you can. And like you can see, it's just as accurate and it works perfectly fine. Little house sparrow, down she goes, 44 yards. Ooh, crushed that one, 82 yards down. Down she goes, 44 yards. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you like this content, remember to smash that like button for me. And if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.